Understanding modal verbs. Can, may, could, might. Expressing permission. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning journey. Today, we're going to delve into an exciting part of intermediate grammar, specifically, the realm of modal verbs. We will focus on their function in expressing permission, and more importantly, the subtle differences between can, may, could, and might. So buckle up and let's explore. Modal verbs are special kinds of verbs that can change the meaning of a sentence. They don't follow the same rules as regular verbs, and they can be a little tricky to master. Today we are going to focus on four of these, can, may, could, and might. All these modal verbs can be used to express permission. However, they each have a slightly different connotation. Understanding these subtle differences can make your English much more nuanced and effective. The modal verb, can, is used to express permission in an informal way. It is frequently used in everyday, casual English. For example, you can go to the party after you finish your homework. Here, can, is giving permission to go to the party, but only after the homework is finished. Next, we have, may. It is also used to express permission but in a more formal, polite context. For example, you may leave the room when you have completed the test. Here, may is being used to give formal permission to leave once the test is completed. The modal verb, could, can also be used to ask for or give permission. It's more polite than, can, and less formal than, may. For example, you could take a break if you're feeling tired. In this sentence, could, is giving permission to take a break if needed. Lastly, might, can be used to ask for permission in a very polite, somewhat tentative way. For example, I might go to the concert if that's okay. Here, might, is asking for permission to go to the concert in a very polite way. And that's it, everyone. We have explored the differences between can, may, could, and might in expressing permission. Remember, the way you choose to express yourself can change how people understand your intentions, so it's crucial to understand these nuances. We hope you found this video useful and informative, and we encourage you to practice these modal verbs in your conversations. Until next time, keep practicing, and remember, language learning is a journey, not a destination. Happy learning!